about similarity in the real world, we're going to do some shadow problems. Yeah, boy. So, <laughs> using shadows is a quick way to estimate, I'm just going to read this part for now, the heights of trees, flagpoles, buildings, and other tall objects. To begin, pick an object whose height might be impractical to measure, and then measure the length of the shadow your object casts. Also measure the shadow path at the same time of day by a yardstick or some other object of known height. Stand straight up on the ground. Since you know the height of the two shadows and the length of the yardstick, you can use the fact that the sun's rays are approximately parallel to set up a proportion with similar triangles. So here's a picture of what we're talking about. Something that's really tall and I can't measure it. Something that I can measure, like a yardstick or something else that's easily measurable. And then measuring both of their shadows. So if I know these two measurements, and I know one of the heights, I can use a proportion to find the other one. So in the picture they have the sun's rays coming down this way, saying that they're parallel, approximately parallel, because the sun is very far away. Uh -huh. um, and that would allow us to make these triangles, or these triangles would be similar triangles. So this top angle would match with this top angle, because they'd be corresponding angles on parallel lines. Same thing with the bottom angle here. And then these angles, if the two figures are standing straight up, what do we know of the angle? That's going to be a right angle. So anytime we have a figure standing up and we're measuring its height, like when you go to the doctor's office, they have you stand up straight so that you're not going to be like slouched over. We can always assume that that makes a right angle with the ground. Um, so that, that would give us similar triangles. If all the angles here, these angles match, these angles match, and the right angles match, then they are similar triangles by angle angle. angle. So that allows us to use a separate proportion. As long as I know three of the things, then I know I can find the missing piece. But not two. Right. So let's look at this example here about Michelle and Nancy. So on a sunny day, Michelle and Nancy noticed that their shadows were different lengths. Nancy measured Michelle's shadow and found that it was 96 inches long. Michelle then measured Nancy's shadow and found that it was 102 inches long. Who do you think is taller, Nancy or Michelle, and why? So since Michelle is 96 inches long and Nancy is 102 inches long, who's okay. going to be taller? It's Michelle. Why do you think Michelle's taller? I feel like short people have longer shadows. You feel like short people have longer shadows? Yeah. Do you guys agree with that? I don't know. I don't know. I, I think that is because they're shorter to the ground and I've noticed that like that one. Did you see, like ever see like babies like walk? And yeah. they the shadows like it's like really far. What if a parent walked next to them? What would their shadow look like? Shadow yeah. It depends where the sun is, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, where the sun is would depend on how long your shadow is. But it depends on if you are standing, if a short person is standing next to a tall person at the same time, and the sun's coming down at the same time, what do you think it's going to? The tall person's shadow feels like Yeah. So even though the short person might have a long shadow, the taller person's going to have an even longer shadow. So the time of day depends on how long the shadow is, but not. Like they would still be in proportion. Shorter would be shorter, taller would be longer. So, and measure ourselves. Who's gonna have the taller shadow? Or yeah, who's Michelle. gonna be taller than Nancy? Nancy. Nancy, because. Tall people have taller shadows. Yes. Or long shadows. Because her shadow is longer. Her shadow is longer. So draw a picture, picture and label it with the information that you know. So what, what should I draw for pictures? You got the like, triangle. Wait, you you know triangle. Your you could. You could say you're the person. And here's their shadow. <laughs> That's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you just stick with triangles for a good grip. Okay. Get rid of that. That, was just that actually looks a little suspectual. <laughs> suspectual. <laughs> suspectual. <laughs> just, a, just a little bit. Triangle. Made a right triangle because if they're standing up, right, this is going to be a right angle. Yeah, that's a little that well. um, So, where would the shadow be? Like, the let's say this is Michelle. Side be bottom. Be the bottom, bottom here, right? Because yeah. shadows are on the ground. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I have to say that though because every time I do shadow problems, I have people who forget to put the shadow on the bottom. That's tough. Well, shadow's not going to go from the top down. But you know something about keeping you from problems at common sense? And that's okay. You feel like that's right. Right. And we help them move on. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so Nancy, what are we going to put for her shadow? 106. Oh, Maybe you will be So that's all we know at this point. Do we have enough to find out any information? No. No. 
we only have one pair of things. We need three out of four. Oh, right. you're gonna get Michelle's height. So now in the next question, it says, if Michelle is five feet and four inches tall, how tall would Nancy be? Right? Oh my God. So do you notice it's given in feet, but yeah. the other ones are given in inches. inches. So how do we do that? So yeah. which five feet would be the longest Six angle? Right? Five. So one foot equals 12 inches, right? Yeah. So if I do five times 12 or 12 times five, Six feet. Six feet. One, two, four more four. inches. Four. Sixty-one. So where, what was the, where would the sixty-four go on my picture? On the top left. I'm gonna draw a new triangle. Oh, you draw a new triangle? Okay. So ninety-six here, top left. Plus this one on the corner. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So be sixty-four. So that's Michelle. Yes. And then Nancy. Inches. Nine one zero two at the bottom. Yes. And where do I put for her? Question mark. Question mark. Or Z Y M. Okay. Thank you. So, how do I figure out how tall Nancy is? Make a couple questions. What letter? Sixty. Yeah. So we can choose. Do we want to do height over shadow and height over shadow? Or do we want to do height over height, shadow over shadow? Height over height. Height over height sounds better. Sixty-four over height. So height over height. Michelle's height went on the top, Michelle's shadow was on the top. Well, because she's the smaller one, right? No, so you can both come from her, so yeah, she would be the smaller one. And you just gotta match up, you know? Yep. So, let me cross multiply, we're gonna need some help. Cross contamination. 96x equals, what's 64 times 6,528. And then what? So now, in the next problem, if Nancy is five feet four inches tall, so now we're switching it. Instead of Michelle being five feet four inches, Nancy's gonna be five feet four inches. So what am I gonna change? You just gotta put X in the top left and yeah. And then you put the 64 on the other side of Nancy. So Michelle is gonna get an X and a 96. And then Nancy's gonna get a 64. And a one. So here's an example why when some people are doing a problem, one person sets it up this way, the other person sets it up that way, it's going to get a different answer. So in this case, we switched the number, so we're able to switch the proportion. Yeah, but no, Mich different Mich things Michelle's always going to go on the top because um, she's smaller, right? Uh, just because we chose to put her on the top. If we had chose to put her on the bottom, then her numbers would always belong. Oh. However you set up the first fraction, you just want to make sure the second one gets set up the same way. Does it matter how you set it up? Or as long as you no, just if I do it, if I had it reversed, I would still be doing, when I cross multiply, it would still be the same number. Okay. okay. So 102 times x is 6144. And 4 times 96. 6624. Six, six, Oh, it's 1444. Four. No, it's 6144. Four. 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 Oh, I put it in the wrong one. Right. 6144. Okay. 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 Jesus! Don't play me. 6.6.2.3.5. 6.2.3.5. 6.2.3.5. 6.2.3.5. 6.2.3.5. 6.2.3.5. 6.2.3.5. 6.2.3.5. 6.2.3.5. 6.2.3.5. 6.2.